what is the purpose of humanity? Who can we become as many of the repetitive tasks that we spend our days on start to be automated? Humans and technology have been working together since the first wheel was invented. Today, we're at the fourth industrial revolution, where the physical world is meeting the digital world. I think technology, I mean, it's game changing. Technology is just an enabler, an enabler for growth, an enabler for better conversations with your customers, an enabler for scale. We really are at a pivotal point in certain industries in terms of how we use technology. With the rapid pace of change that's happening right now, there's probably a greater sense of potential error that can happen. And I think if we're conscious of that and we're careful about it, then we'll mitigate that risk going forward. Think about a retail associate working with a customer in a store. Those are the frontline workers, the people right at the edge of the enterprise. They collect information out there at the edge, and they often do unpredictable physical work. They go by many names in many different businesses. We call them team members. People like nurses, medical office assistants, uh, caregivers. When we think about the tools that are going to power humanity, they will be really significant for frontline workers. They'll change the way that frontline workers operate, the level of authority and autonomy they have. So imagine if you're a radiologist and you're looking at a scan of someone, an MRI scan of someone. Imagine if you're able to actually dip into a much larger database and to be able to diagnose and then hopefully treat that person a lot faster than trying to do that on your own. If you have technology speeding up that process, creating a much larger world that you can access and resource, that means that we're going to have better health outcomes as a result. Five years ago, 10 years ago, it would have been unthinkable to ask a cashier to make credit decisions about a customer. But today, this is increasingly commonplace. In fact, we do it through software all the time. So we're seeing this push of authority from the center of companies out to the edge. We're seeing a redistribution of power. My question is, in a world of artificial intelligence, why would we possibly give people robot jobs? About 18 months ago, we started putting self-order kiosks in the restaurants. And the industry, the headlines were that we were taking people out of our, of our shacks, taking people out of our business. And it was the exact opposite. What we were doing was we were putting control of the experience in our guests' hands, in our customers' hands. And we were allowing our team members to focus much more on a positive, warm welcome or interaction with our guests. We're moving into a world where the people are able to care for people in deeper ways, more profound ways because we know more and because machines can start to offload the robot jobs. And this digital interaction doesn't need to replace a human interaction, it can complement a human interaction. Nurses today spend about 30% of their time doing documentation. So if we can use automation and technology to make that job less a part of their time, that means they have more time for patient care. I think we all want to live in a world where there's probably more empathy and more compassion. We're starting to see technology augment the human condition. We saw how people who can't talk due to disease are able to talk now through technology, or how people who can no longer walk are able to be mobile again. Three years ago, CRISPR was this crazy edge technology. To just today, I was talking to somebody who's really actually changing medicine, actually changing pharmaceutical chemistry is a result of this technology. I'm excited about the future of wearables. Uh, where it started was just tracking your steps. Where I think it can go is, I think, into phenomenal places. Right now, even today, we can see your blood glucose levels, we can see your blood pressure, we can see your heart rate, we can test your oxygen levels, and the list is, is growing machine learning, being able to ingest massive amounts of data at scale to get to know our customers better and then to use that information in a really positive way back for the benefit of the customer. Where we see the world going and technology going that, that we're empowering is how do we make sure that every worker and every asset is connected and visible and optimally utilized.